hi guys so we're making this trendy style and to do it we need our pasta if you don't know how to make this pattern i will link it in the description box so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to trace out this pattern that i have here okay of course we use our other tools too okay like your tape your scissors and all of that i'll trace my pattern and stop at the two inches we marked before our hip okay so that's just it i'm going to trace it out all right and then we'll continue with our drafting okay so guys thank you so much for the likes thank you for the views thank you for the comments the shares i appreciate it so so much thank you for the subscriptions also thank you i appreciate you all if there's any video you would like me to do don't forget to leave it in the comment section so i can attend to it so i'm going to mark my shoulder to my neckline it's six inches yours can be more or lesser okay but mine is six inches so i'm going to be marking the six inches and roll it out on a straight line okay now i will move over to my next step okay which is to divide my uh to add 0 0.25 inches okay before i divide my waist this is very optional okay i'm adding it because i want my center front to have a slit okay yeah from the start you see there's a center front opening and you can't just put your bone channel there you have to put a dart okay so that's why i'm adding that 0 0.25 inches okay but if you don't want your center front to have uh a bone then you can skip this uh, part okay so um now i'm going to mark my shoulder to on the bust measurement okay for mine is 12 inches yours can be more or less just work with your measurements okay so i'll rule that out just like i'm doing here so you go ahead and also do that on your paper all right so now on my waist i'm going to be dividing my waist into three okay we are going to be dividing our waist into three so go ahead and do the maths if your waist is is eight you do eight divided by three okay that is one quarter of your waist if your waist is seven you divide it if it's six that means you're marking to two inches okay so that's just basically what i'm doing i'm just dividing my waist into three equal parts okay and i'm going to be connecting that to my under bust all right so that's just it just watch what i'm doing so when you're doing yours you won't be confused at all all right so i'm just going to label my under bust my waist okay and then i'll mark my bust point my neckline and of course my chest line okay so i'm going to also connect the second line we have here now that i have connected it okay i'm going to move over to the next step which is to put my darts i'll mark 0 0.25 inches on both sides okay you can do more for your darts but i don't want to take so much that i'm not on that plus size okay i don't want to compress so much okay i want it to be comfortable so i'm just taking 0 0.25 i'm i'm marking it also at the center front and i'll go ahead and connect the dart lines so you just watch how i'm connecting it so you go ahead and do yours that way too So I'm just basically connecting my dart legs. Okay, that just that just it. Just take note that everything I'm doing stops at the under bust. Okay. Now I'm going to make my basque shape. Okay, I'll just decide the length I want it. Already, this is a uh, measurement. Is that our pattern is stopping at two inches before our hip. Okay. Now I'm going to mark six inches. I'll use pencil to rule it and see what it, it looks like. If I'm okay with it, I'll maintain it. If not, I might have to uh you structure it okay so i've marked six inches and i will connect it to the waist you can go ahead and do that but i'm not comfortable with the six inches so i'm going to be doing five and half so let's measure it and see this is five and half right here okay so you can decide to do more you can decide to do lesser it just depends on you how deep you want it to be so i'm reconnecting it with my marker just so we can see it clearly all right so we're going over to the next step okay which is to reconnect our dart legs because i don't want to shorten my measurement 
okay at that lower area so i'll just reconnect my dart legs this way so you do yours too but if you want to maintain it this way you just have to replace the dart by the side okay but i don't want to replace or you can as well not replace it and just have an opening at your back it's all okay too there are different ways to achieving a style okay so that's it for this so at this channel that's where we are going to be putting our bones okay so i'm going to divide my shoulder into two that's where i'll be transferring my dart to that is the bus that the side that i will have there okay so i'll connect it to my bus point line okay that's my nipple to nipple point line okay now i'll also take my bus pan measurement once again on my under bus and connect it to my bus point okay on a straight line and this is what we're going to have right here now i'm going to be contouring my under bust i'll use one inch on both sides it all depends on your size and your bust size okay so based on your bust size you should know how to contour it but for mine two inches is enough so that's why i spread the two inches on both sides that is one inch on both sides okay yours can be less than yours can be more all right so work with your bust measurement all right that just all and i'm just connecting it to my under bust line and this is what we have okay this is just what we have right here okay so that's just basically when you close your darts you transfer it to the shoulder area that's just what we have here is going to open you can also transfer it to your armhole okay you can transfer your darts in your armhole but i will do with the shoulder that because that's what the style has okay so it's just up to you so i'm going to be ruling out my darts so that i will know those are the areas i'm to cut through when cutting it that's why i'm ruling it all out all right so that's just basically it now you know we are going to replace the dots that we took at the under bust okay you can see i'm going to measure this okay i measured it and this is the measurement i'm having but if i measure the under one of it that is the basque area is fuller okay it's wider than it so i'm going to be replacing that two inches that i took okay you can see this is eight inches and the other is just six inches so we are going to be replacing that if not there will be shortage when you're sewing it and you'll be so confused so replace the dots that you took at the under bust okay i took two inches so i'm replacing two inches if you took more you replace more all right so that's just it i'm going to also extend my chest line uh my chest line out okay and then i'll connect the two inches to the chest line that's just basically it okay so don't forget to replace your under bust that's very important because you've shortened your measurement okay so that's what we have here for the front okay that's just what we have for the front now we're moving over to the back and for the back we're going to be stopping at our waistline so i'm going to be tracing it that i've gone ahead to fold out my zip allowance remember we spread our zip allowance on the both sides on the waist so that's just what i'm notching there so i will know where it is if you don't understand this please go and watch that video on how to draft your full scale bodies okay and you will understand it perfectly then you come back to this video and continue so i'm just going to connect out that half inch and rule it out because i'm not working with it okay it's a zipper allowance so we're not working with it okay so that's just it and i'll connect my chest line out just so we have a straight line because this needs to be perfect okay so i'm working with just my sh shoulder to my waist and then i'm eliminating that zip allowance okay you can see i folded in my zipper allowance okay i did not use my zipper allowance now this that we are going to be distributing it on the waist it was one inch that i took so i'm going to be sharing it i'll divide my waist into three okay so i'm going to mark my waist okay i'll just take two points on my waist okay and share that 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 we have on the initial pattern which is one inch that okay so uh, that's just basically what i'm going to do and then i will share it on both sides so we have three equal parts right here now so i'm just going to be connecting it to my chest line and that's it
okay so this is what we have now I'm going to take my 0.25 inches that on my waistline okay so you go ahead and take your dart based on what you have all right so mine is 0.25 inches that and that's just what I'll take on my waist and I'll connect the dart legs straight up to my chest line okay we're not working with under bust measurement because this is the back part of the dress okay so that's just it and this is what we have here this is what we have right here okay so when you divide it you're going to have three equal parts and this is the part i'll cut out for my lacing so i label the cut out so i remember and these are the points i will lace okay so i'll be lacing the second part i'll remove the center part i'll lace the other part now for my yoke you can freestyle your yoke you can give it any style you want okay it's all up to you i'm going to use pencil to draw a style line for my neck okay and see what it looks like if i like it i'll continue with it so you can decide to leave your yoke that way it's all up to you so i'll freestyle it and i think i like what i have here so i'm going to be working with it that means at this upper part i'm going to also put a button cover button at this area okay this area i'm putting dots so let's connect our neckline and see okay so i love what i'm seeing here yeah so this is going to be what my back is going to look like okay um so you guys thank you so much thank you thank you thank you for always being with me thank you for liking my videos thank you for the comments thank you so much i appreciate it please don't forget to like share and comment and also leave uh click on the notification bell so you see my videos anytime i post okay very very important and please 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 subscribe so i'm just basically just labeling the the patterns okay so i don't mix it up okay i've labeled my back and i'm labeling my front so just go ahead and label it anyhow you know you can remember okay so when you're sewing it you just know this is how you're supposed to place it and so it is very important to label it guys very very important if not you mix up your pattern you won't even know where to sew and where not to sew so i'm just going to go ahead and cut this out and we'll show you okay so this is it i'm going to make my neck design okay i just want my neck design this way the picture has a much wider neck but i just want mine this way okay i don't want it to enter into my shoulder i'm perfect with this with what i have here so you can decide to make yours much wider it's all okay all right so this is it So I'm going to close my bust that now. Okay, so I'll close my bust that. That just so watch how I'm closing my dart. Okay, I'm just pinching it from the other end to the other end, and I'll stick it down with my cello tape, or you can use a masking tape, or you can use your pin. It's all okay. Whatever you want to use, just stick it down so it lays flat. So we've closed our dart, we've transferred our dart to the shoulder. Okay, so this is what it looks like. You can see all right so that's just basically it's for the front okay now take note of your points okay that's just what i'm doing so when you're sewing you make sure that the boss point matches to the boss point the the neckline matches to the neckline okay also do that for the yoke uh, that for sorry for the cutout we did at the center front which is going to be replaced with a net okay so also do that very important just notch it so when you're sewing you know where to stop and where to start okay so that's just basically it and we we'll go ahead and cut the lower part the basque part of the corset so that's it that's it for the front okay so this is what we have this is our final look okay this is our final look guys this is what our final look is 
so when you sew it up you can see that the waist now matches okay that is why we replaced that two inches that you can see that the waist is matching if you don't replace it when you sew it it's not going to match so always remember to replace very very important so now we move to the back part okay we're going to also cut it out okay so that's just it all right so i'm done cutting it out and this is what we have okay so when you arrange it this is what you're going to get okay and this is the cut out we're not using it and this is the part we're going to lace so this is it for the video guys thank you so much for staying with me see you next time bye